uh, Mitch O'Farrell, and we are standing at 3304 Drew Street in the community of Glassell Park. Back in 2002, when I started working uh, in the 13th District uh, as a field deputy for Council Member Eric Garcetti, uh, this neighborhood was called the Drew and Astara neighborhood, and it had quite a history of um, gangs and violence, quite frankly. Um, but in Glassell Park, we always knew that this was a, a, also a wonderful neighborhood where the overwhelming majority of people were law-abiding, good folks who just wanted to have a good quality of life. At this very address that we're standing uh, was considered one of the, the most problematic sites. The uh, city attorney's office, through their uh, Taking Out Gangs program, came in and they knocked the house down. Um, and then the title went into receivership uh, and it was turned over to Wells Fargo Bank. So over a six month period, uh, I reached out to Wells Fargo Bank and uh, their real estate office back in Des Moines, Iowa. And I just made the pitch that we would love to turn this property into a community garden, that the community had suffered enough and let's, uh, you know, let's make something wonderful out of a situation that had been so horrible before. And about six months later, after making that initial pitch, lots of uh, correspondence back and forth, I finally got the call that they were ready to make a donation. I think there are 38 plots here, and uh, it's been a real success. So this just demonstrates that a community can come together with uh, local government, and, and, and together we can make something really wonderful happen. We can, we can use creating a community garden as a catalyst for turning an entire neighborhood around. It's great when people who live in an area that is so densely populated can just walk down the street have a plot, sit with their family, they can have events, they can bring their children here. It makes the city, or it makes the neighborhood safer, cleaner. Uh, it encourages neighbors to get, to get to know one another. We had several instances where neighbors had never even spoken, even though they lived just buildings apart. So this encourages that sense of community that we're always looking to create in the city of Los Angeles. And if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere.